Autism Speaks is the biggest autism organization in the US. That's terrible and here's why. First of all, I'm gonna be reading this little bit for ultimate accuracy. According to the FBI, a hate group's primary purpose is to promote animosity, hostility and malice against persons belonging to a race, religion, disability, sexual orientation or ethnicity slash national origin which differs from that of the members of the organization. Keep that in mind. Now getting into why they're so terrible. First of all, they do not help autistic people. <laughs> You would think they do! <laughs> Only 4% goes towards helping autistic people and their families via their family grants. I think that's how you pronounce that. And in comparison to that, 22% of their massive budget goes towards fundraising efforts. They pay their CEO more than the people they claim to support. Where does the rest of the budget go though? Well, the majority of their funding goes towards researching a cure. To be precise, what they want to find is a genetic marker that would allow you to diagnose an unborn fetus with having autism and then being able to abort it. They wish I were never born. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm failing to comprehend this. That's not where their efforts stop though. They have no problem with letting a board member talk about wanting to murder her autistic daughter in one of their own videos that they have produced. I'll be coming back to that in a bit. But for now, staying on the topic of parents murdering autistic kids when they actually do kill their innocent fucking child, Autism Speaks claims they understand the murderer and then go ahead and demonize the victim, an autistic kid. Saying things like, oh, they were so hard to live with. These two things sound too horrific to be real. And God, I wish they were made up. I... But they're not. And these two things, I think, are the most important things to list sources for. So they will be the very first two links you see in the description. Just so you know that I am not making this up. This is so important <laughs> to know that this is real. Of course, the rest will be there as well, my sources. Uh, but these two will be a bit separate and above the rest. I can't say anything to recover from that, can I? So we're just gonna move on. Autism Speaks leadership is completely non-autistic. Uh, last time I checked, they didn't have a single autistic board member. <laughs> what? All of them are allistic, which is just another fancy word for saying someone who is not autistic. Elastic. And they don't target us autistic people either. Who they target is the parents of autistic kids. We've already gone over that spending 4% of, again, a massive budget on helping the people you claim to be supporting is a bit less. A tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Yes, actually, a tiny bit. <laughs> How else? do we know that they are not interested in helping us other than condoning our murders and wanting to eradicate us before we're even born? <laughs> well, when one of us actually speaks up uh, as, for example, an activist, they try to shut us down. Whenever we're trying to make ourselves heard, they come and try to dismiss us and mock us and somehow label our experiences as not valid? Eh? <laughs> Again, none of the board members are artistic themselves. <laughs> they do not include us when talking about decisions that could possibly affect our lives. Well, first of all, how could they if their entire board is, again, elastic? And secondly, when they never invest in any initiative 
that could help us existing autistic people in our day-to-day -day lives. <laughs> we cannot all of a sudden just not be autistic anymore, but I guess helping us as already existing people is less important than killing unborn autistic kids, am I right? That Ah, we're just supposed to shut up, I guess. I bet they'd also <laughs> campaign for making abortions legal 20 years after your kid is born, once they see me. <laughs> and if it helps their goal of eliminating all autistic people. That is... Does it sound insane? I feel like it does. Autism Speaks does not spread awareness or acceptance, they spread fear. They want to sell the public on that we need early interventions and treatments, as if we're diseased, <laughs> to make us look as normal as possible. Something that I have discussed in another video does not help us, it damages us. And also they base our value on how normal we look and act. I think you'd base a human's value on that they're a human <laughs> and have human rights, but they completely misinterpret autism. They reach out to families talking about the eternal suffering that we're gonna cause and that an autistic kid is never gonna feel anything other than pain and suffering and yada yada yada, which is just wrong. Again, I have a video about this. <laughs> they spread the propaganda, might I say, that we will only cause harm and suffering to our families and those around us. And they even make pretty high budget videos to propagate their bullshit. <laughs> now, one of them is called I Am Autism, in which autism kind of speaks. I did not realize how ironic that was. I have picked some uh, quotes. Let me read them for you. I know where you live. If you're happily married, I will make sure that your marriage fails. You are scared and you should be. Uh, yeah, tell, tell me that this is not spreading fear and also misinformation. I said I'd come back to that mother discussing wanting to kill her autistic daughter earlier. Yeah, that's from one of these videos. It is called Autism Every Day. And in this video, a bunch of mothers talk about how they struggle every day with their autistic kids, with their autistic kids in the room. That sure didn't damage them. I did not watch the entire thing because it's just making me cry in anger and sadness for the kids and I feel that it's affecting me already just thinking about it but may I just say monsters absolutely fucking cruel human beings if you don't want to hear the description of what she said in that video you can skip to here I'm gonna give you a bit of time to skip because it's kind of graphic and a bit disturbing so here we go. Again, I'm gonna have to read a bit to achieve ultimate accuracy. She says that she seriously contemplated putting her autistic daughter in the car and driving off a bridge. She only didn't do that because she has a second daughter who is not autistic. I'm sorry, but shouldn't the kid be taken from her? If she says something like this openly, publicly. Just, just a suggestion. But that video is pretty old, so I don't think there is much that can be done anymore. <laughs> they portray autism as completely tragic, that there is no hope, and again, that life will become eternal suffering. That is just plain wrong. It is, it is a lie. It is a straight up lie. The thing is, I don't even have to try and talk sense into them, because they completely ignore autistic voices. Those of us who say that they are wrong. Whenever we say that we are happy the way we are, that we are proud of who we are, they come along and say stuff like that we are not actually autistic. Apparently autism only presents itself in the form 
of screaming, hitting and soiling and not communicating if I'm correct here. Let me look that up. Yes, I was correct. <laughs> and that is just demonstrably wrong. That is going against fact. That is lying. That is lying. <laughs> I, how do they get away with this? They don't want to hear that most of us have been there, that we've done that. The thing is that we have become better, that we have developed better coping mechanisms because we were loved and accepted and embraced. They don't want to hear that we are doing better in a loving environment that loves, accepts, embraces us. They also don't want to hear that not communicating is impossible. Everybody communicates. Even if I don't say something, I am communicating. I am communicating that I don't want to speak. Back in high school, in German class, we had extensive lessons about that not communicating is impossible. Everybody always communicates. You just have to learn their language if you want to understand them. I cannot stress this enough, which is why I'm going to be saying this again. We can cope a lot better with the difficulties that come along with being autistic and are part of autism because it wouldn't be a disability if it wouldn't affect us at all. It does. But we can cope better in an environment that helps us and that accepts us and that does not want to change who we are but rather uh, help us learn to cope. Doesn't that make sense? As isn't that common fucking knowledge? Isn't that... I mean, do holistic people not work like that? Do holistic people not feel better in an environment in which they are accepted and loved? Eh? They make money off of the misinformation that they spread. They mislead so many parents and they make money off of them. In the meantime, they're ruining thousands upon thousands of autistic lives and not just young lives of the parents that they blatantly misguide. They also ruin and make life harder for us adult autistic people. Unnecessarily so. We are ashamed every day because of the misinformation that they spread. We develop self-hatred because of the fucking lies that they spread. At first I was scared of speaking up as an autistic person, as outing myself as autistic. Because most all they know comes from this pathetic source. And it's not their fault. It's the fault of this organization that they spread lies knowingly. I am so scared of that just hearing the word autistic will drive away potential new friends or that I, in my darkest hours, I was like, I'm gonna die alone because nobody wants to deal with me. Which is a lie, again. <laughs> That's not true. But they have made me think that. Autism Speaks actively makes money off of our misery, off of spreading misinformation and lies. And ruined lives. And the fact that they're making money off of it is why they're not gonna stop. Autism Speaks does not speak for me and it does not speak for any of us autistic people. Not a single one. You know what Autism Speaks? You're scared and you should be.